Hi everyone and welcome back. This is our 10th video in a row that has focused on orchestrations. Today's subject is how to call a business function using an orchestration. But before I jump right into this, I just want to give you a heads up that we're changing our name soon. We wanted a more laid back vibe and given that a lot of our work these days has gravitated towards REST APIs and RESTful web services, we'll be changing our name to RESTful Clouds. It's a kind of relaxing, zen-like name and we hope to bring a little calm and clarity to your life through automation of your JDE system. We are also releasing a new product soon. If your JDE is feeling a little out of sorts, it will send you an email telling you the problem before it becomes a big production five alarm fire. Work should be exciting, but not that exciting. So there it is, watch for it. JDE clouds will become restful clouds in the very near future. Now back to how to call a business function using an orchestration. Let's see. How do we normally call a business function? It can be from an application, a report, or you can use a BSSV service which can directly call a business function or enterprise server and based on that you process the value in and the value out. In this example there is no interface of application or report. We are going to directly call the business function and process it. We are going to see how to call the business function using an orchestration. Here you see the three steps required. You need to create a custom service request, then an orchestration, and then you need to test the orchestration. Once tested, you can move it to DB, PY, and ultimately PD. Let's have a look at a simple example of how we did this. We used business function B45HS000, get address from address book. The value we're passing is in MS address number, and the values we will get out are address number, address line 1, 2, 3, 4, city state zip postal code. Here with the help of object browser we can test the business function by passing the single address number of 1 to obtain the corresponding address in the system. We're going to do the same thing using an orchestration. Again here are the high level steps. The guide drills down to each and every keystroke required to do this with the aid of screenshots we took as we set this up on our cloud instance. As you follow the steps create custom request then create the orchestration it will eventually lead you to test the orchestration and ultimately to this screen which is giving the JSON output. If you compare the output from object browser you'll see it's the same. Now that you have the JSON output you can consume it with any third party. You can play around with the data and it's much simpler than before. Now let's do a short live demo. Here's the orchestration click play which takes us to where we can run the orchestration enter one is your address number just a single input in this case and then click this run button it executes and returns the JSON output of address from JDE this orchestration was executed successfully on your enterprise server Quite soon the same information will be accessible from our RESTful Clouds website blog and we'll be adding many more blogs in the coming future. This is just one of 22 sections from our guide Orchestrator Complete Reference and provides step-by-step -step instructions with examples of how to do all the cool stuff now available with Orchestrator Studio. For more information about orchestrations and automation or if you'd like to purchase the Orchestrator Complete Reference guide email us at info at restfulclouds.com. The guide sells for 499 USD and comes with three free service calls of up to one hour each. And don't forget our name is changing very soon to Restful Clouds. That's all for now. Bye bye.